We're here at Mad River Golf Club with our Titleist golf ball fitting experience. We're gonna fit three different members here at the club with varying skill levels to find out which ball is best for their game and help them shoot their lowest score. What is a Titleist golf ball fitting? We'll take each player through our green to tee fitting approach, having them hit their wedges, their seven irons, and their drivers on the range. Once we dial them in on the range, we'll take them out onto the golf course and ensure that that golf ball is the right one for them. Let's help these players shoot their lowest scores. Let's get after it. All right, Tom, welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right, as, as you're warming up, I'm gonna ask you a few questions just about your game, uh, how you feel, what ball you currently play, all that kind of stuff. Awesome. But, uh, you know, just, just jump right in there and hit some shots. Just focus on hitting target uh, and, and providing us some feedback on feel. Okay. We'll talk about launch angle, spin rate, angle of descent, how far the golf ball is going, how quickly it's stopping. Uh, we want this to be interactive. So okay. if you have any questions at all, jump right in. There's no such thing as a dumb question. Awesome. Good swing. Yeah, Save that one. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> Another good one. And is that tight little draw, is that what you're used to seeing out on the golf course? Yeah, I try to kind of hit it a little lower and a little draw just to control it because it gets windy out here. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the preference. Okay, great. And so why Pro V1? What, what made you get into Pro V1? What do you like about it? What are you looking for in a golf ball? Maybe give me some, some insights there. In trying the one and the X, I kind of prefer softer feel around the greens and with putter and stuff. And so I always gravitated more towards that, but haven't kind of tested it that thoroughly. Okay, awesome. Oh, that was nice. We're gonna switch to seven iron here. So we obviously hit three different golf balls. You know, three of our, our premium golf balls. So Pro V1, uh, which is your current gamer, Pro V1X, and then Pro V1X left dash. So we're gonna store that information and, okay. and see if we, we can't uh, make sure that that ball's the right right one for you. Honestly, all of them all of them I would play, I'm not kind of stuck to that, that softer feel of the uh, Pro V1. Okay. That was nice. Yeah. Differences between those three golf balls, you'll notice that Pro V1 gives you a more, call it penetrating ball flight, yeah. call it mid spin, a little bit less spin, right. softer feel, which is what you noticed. Pro V1X is designed to fly higher and it's designed to spin more. Okay. And it does feel a little firmer. Yeah. And then that left dash is a higher flying golf ball, similar to the X, but it's a lower spinning golf ball. Okay. So you're gonna spin a bit less than what Pro V1 does. And it is the firmest golf ball right. in our lineup. Yeah. So that's when you notice kind of the, the clicky or yeah. firmer uh, right. notes that, that you said there. Taking a look at metrics on TrackMan, we're gonna consider spin in a golf ball fitting. You look at how high that golf ball goes in feet in the air right. and right. our landing angle. Okay. There's going to be optimal numbers for each. Do one, one more and we'll hit some, uh, some drivers next. We'll continue to test Pro V1, and I okay. know that's your current gamer. The other one that's really important to us is a few times now, every time you've hit Pro V1, the, the black dot golf ball, yeah. uh, you, you looked up and you said that was nice, yeah. right? And we want you to have that feeling, right? right? We want you to be in love with the golf ball you're using yeah. and trust it. I like that. Awesome. So as it stands right now, Pro V1, uh, you know, seems to be uh, the gamer, yeah. uh, which it currently is. It's yes. great to hear. <laughs> yeah. uh, but like I said, we play golf out on the golf course, yeah. so let's head out there and make sure it works. Awesome. All right, so here we are on the first tee. We had a good productive session on the range. I hit a bunch of different shots on the range, and, and so far we figure Pro V1 is still going to be the best ball for your game and help you shoot your lowest scores. Yeah. Uh, but we know that we practice and we fit on the range, but we play golf out here. So let's, uh, let's validate the Pro V1 on the golf course. Awesome. Uh, first tee's all yours. Perfect, thank you. How'd that one feel? Pretty good, yeah, yeah. out of the middle, which felt, is good. Felt like that stayed in the air forever. Yeah, I know it did. Let's, uh, let's go find it and hit it again. Awesome, All sounds right. good. Swing there. I like the looks of this. Nice, Should great be shot. Pretty solid, yeah, Popped thank up. you. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, quite a good shot. Yeah, just got away on the right a little, but 
not too bad speed wise. Yeah, and you can see that first bounce, there was still a little bit of check yeah, even out of this rough. Yeah, which is great to have, you know, you have a little extra control and whatnot, so. How was the golf ball fitting experience? It was awesome, really cool to test out the different models and kind of see what works best for each part of the game, so definitely learned a lot and enjoyed it. So to wrap, uh, Pro V1 all day long, uh, that, that golf ball is, uh, is perfect for you. Uh, you love the feel of it, it performs great when we look at some of the, the TrackMan numbers. And, and the big one for us was really early we found out that you love the feel of that product and then we came out onto the golf course and gosh you hit some really good shots couple under with the pro v1 can't go wrong can't complain awesome thanks for your time today yeah thank you very much great to meet you guys you ever been fit for a golf ball before never okay awesome all right so let's get you fit for the right golf ball for your game good swing that one felt better yeah. but again just still a little you can feel the difference, it feels a little harder. Okay, so so good strike, that one felt firm. Yeah. Uh, firm to the point where you would you wouldn't even consider it no, or I think just like that one I hit it I hit it well, so it it definitely was a little harder. Alright, let's grab seven iron. What we can say with confidence is that you know you're you're pretty comfortable with Pro yeah. One because you like the feel. Yeah. But let's see if the if the metrics tell us any different. Our landing angle or descent angle number, 45 degrees is, is a great number to strive for. So these are the metrics that we saw with Pro V1. On average, you were 6,800 spin, hitting it over 70 feet in the air with a 45 degree landing angle. So really good numbers that we look at here. As soon as we jump to the X, the biggest thing that, that climbed up on us was actually spin. But if I look at spin rate on this yeah. one, Pro V1X, that average jumped up to 7,500. So you actually lost a little bit of distance with that golf ball just because it's spinning a touch too much. Yeah. Especially, you know, you have a shot into the wind. Um, you're just not gonna get that kind of control and flight yeah. that, that you'd wanna see. And so the next step to this is to make sure that the golf ball's performing off the tee. Um, and so all of our golf balls are gonna fly, like I said, within two to five yards of one another. So we'll never make a golf ball decision solely based on driver performance. Yeah. Uh, but if there's something we can do to help, uh, maybe tune in the driver a little bit, we can do that. But most importantly, we're making sure that the land angle with the driver is where we wanna see it. Okay. Your game's pretty tight, you're, you're dialed in. Yeah. Uh, Pro V1 is, is, you know, we're about 99% sure that's where you belong, but we gotta get out onto the golf course and, and make sure it's still right for you. We determined on the driving range that Pro V1, uh, so far, is, is still the right golf ball for you. Performs great from, from looking at TrackMan, but also uh, time and time again, we came back to the idea that you love the feel of the golf ball. So tell us about the hole. What, what do you like? What's your line off the tee? This is number two at Matt. It's a par four. It's a, it's a pretty lengthy par four uh, with a decent shot going in with our false front. Off the tee, obviously you want to avoid the traps on the right. Try to keep it in the short stuff because like I said, you kind of have a longer club coming in. Nice. Okay, great ball there. Yeah, felt good. Okay, perfect. Let's go. Uh, let's go find it and let's hit it on it. the green. Let's do it. Good swing there. Yeah, felt About good. 10 feet left of it. Felt good. Yeah, it was uh, definitely playing longer, so it worked out. The club selection was good, and the ball felt good. Awesome, awesome. Okay, we'll throw uh, X down now. Yeah. More aggressive. Yeah. Any feel differences there? Notice uh, anything? It, Jump out? It, it, you know what? The flight of the ball was a little higher. Yeah. Uh, a little harder off the face, but it still felt good, but I guess we'll see which closer. Yeah, love it. Good shots. Right there. Good putt there. Awesome. Nicely done. So we saw on the range that Pro V1 was, was perfect for you based on the TrackMan results. And then we came out to the golf course, we hit a bunch of fairways, we hit a bunch of greens, made a lot of pars. Uh, I'd be pretty happy with that. Yeah, no, it was good. It was good. I really uh, saw the difference between the feel in both the different balls. And uh, it's clear that I do enjoy the feel of the, the Pro V over the X. Perfect. Well, keep doing what you're doing. You're playing some great golf. Yeah, it was nice meeting you. Thanks for coming out. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for the time. Thanks. All right, Doug. Welcome to the fitting tee. 
Thank you for being here and having me. Absolutely. So uh, we're obviously here to fit you for, for a golf ball today. We're going to start on the range. We're going to have you hit some wedge shots, kind of that comfortable, uh, call it 70, 80 yard wedge shot. That sounds interesting. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, let's get started. Any feedback on that last one? Looked like it really spun yeah, out there. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good shot. Well, they all kind of landed on top of each other yeah, out there, well, so, yeah. so that's good. Yeah. Then we hit Pro B1X, which is the golf ball you currently play, and right away you kind of lit up. You yeah. put some better swings on it, of yeah. course, but I can tell that that's what, what you're used to and what you like the feel of. All three are still in play, right? Right now we're going to hit some seven irons and, and see what the track man has okay. to say. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So same target with seven iron. Okay. Um, What's a what's a full seven iron for you? Kind of stock carry distance. Uh, I'm in just over the 150 range. So key metrics we we look at in a golf ball fitting. We look at the spin rate of the golf ball, how high that golf ball goes in feet, yeah. and our landing angle to, or descent angle. With a seven iron in our hands, in most fitting scenarios, they'll say around 7,000 RPMs of spin is is what you want to achieve. You hitting that little bit of a draw. Generally, draw players don't spin the golf ball as much. So we see 70 feet in the air, 71 feet in the air, and a 42 degree landing angle. So you can see as soon as we jump to Pro V1X, our height comes up, our landing angle go, gets steeper with more spin. So that, those two golf balls carried around the same distance, but that X just stopped a little bit quicker. Gotcha. So that's gonna give you a little bit more control, uh, more stopping power is always gonna, gonna be a benefit. A lot of players are gonna benefit from a bit higher flight and more spin. And, and you're one of those yeah. players. Yeah. Do one more yeah. with that one. So now we're, we're out on the golf course. This is where, where the real magic happens. We determined on the on the range over there earlier that Pro V1X is most likely the, the best golf ball for your game, but we're gonna validate that out on the golf course here. On the fifth hole, nice par four it looks like. Uh, so let's pick a good target and uh, hit a good drive here. I'll give my best. Notice any feel differences off driver there? Uh, I, I could feel that being softer, I really can't. Awesome, let's go hit okay. the green and make some putts. Well, it was a great drive there. We got uh, 110 yards, about 105 to the front. Um, what, what club is that usually for you? Okay, that's, that's my gap wedge, and uh, key is, is hitting to the perfect length, and if it, if it, long, it'll just keep going and going, so right. I'll go on the short side. Perfect. Make a good swing on okay, it. Okay, I'll give it my best. Let's do it. Great shot. Great shot. Yep. Okay, so a couple really, really good shots in. Thank you. Uh, that, that's obviously your number, uh, <laughs> and, and I know you practice that shot. Uh, and really, when, when testing golf balls on the green, what we're looking for is what do you like the feel of? Okay, so yep. I'd say, hey, go through your process with this one here, um, and, and once you hit the putt, regardless if it goes in or not, uh, give us some feedback on how it felt. Correct, okay. All right. Get going. Um, all right. That's okay, we like pars. Yeah, so just a good solid feel. Okay, good stuff. Hit the yeah. fairway, hit the green and reg, and made a couple pars, so you, you can't be upset with no, that. No, absolutely not, and they had chances, and that's all you asked for. How was the golf ball fitting experience for you? Uh, really, I learned a lot. It, uh, I did one a long time ago, but a lot has changed since, and uh, no, it's a great experience. Awesome, well, we learned on the range and out on the golf course that Pro V1X is going to be the golf ball that we recommend for you. Benefited from the, the added height and the added spin to provide the most stopping power when you're hitting irons and wedges into the green. So it's, it's clear to us and hopefully clear to you that the X is the golf ball for you. It is, yes. Awesome, thank you. Thank you guys. Thanks for coming out. Thank Absolutely. you. Really enjoyed it. Good luck, rest of the season. Thank you.